She's back, bitch. She's back! Two different eyes. I went ahead and dived right back into the conspiracy palette because I was just so curious on what the browns would do. But today it's all about the red lip. Morphe came up with three new red lip kits called Out and a Pout, and I'm gonna dive into that as well. So you guys, stay tuned, get ready, because we're about to dive into all that. Hi, I know it's been a few days. I know you guys miss me. I miss you guys too. I just got done tanning, so I'm just now looking into my monitor and I'm like, oh, I'm so dark. Beyond, and look you guys, got my nails done. I got my nails done. We're gonna go ahead and dive into three new lip kits from Morphe. Morphe is one of my favorite, favorite makeup brands out there. I always mention this all the time because I genuinely do love the Morphe brand. They're always consistent. They always have good inspiration. They always have good collaborations. And honestly, their product to me works amazing. They literally came out with three new lip kits and these are called the Out and a Pout. Each of these are obviously different color and they're all different shades of red. I always say when I used to do makeup in a Mac store, everybody can wear red. Red is a statement. I think red looks stunning on everyone. So each of these kits come with a cream lipstick, a lip gloss, and a color pencil. I am honestly gravitating towards this one. I think this one's stunning. So this one is called Candy Red. The one in the middle is called Smoky Red. Red, and then the one on my right is called Fiery Red. Also, the palette that I chose today, I can't get enough of it, is going to be the Conspiracy Palette. I honestly, I think it's the palette of the year because we're wearing red. I think I'm gonna do two different eyes because not only y'all love it so much, but I kinda wanna see which eye goes good with this red lip. So we're gonna go ahead and create two different looks from the Conspiracy Palette with one red lip shade today. I'm so excited, guys, because I actually don't even know what I'm gonna create. Obviously, one eye is gonna be kinda brown. And then one side, I think I'm gonna do really, really cool that I think will go great with red lipstick. So we're gonna go ahead and get some brows on. Today, I'm gonna make my eyebrows just a little thin because I wanna have a lot of room. Wow, I did those brows so fast. So let's go ahead and get my good old primer. We want to make sure the shadows stay very, very well. Okay, so one eye is down. So now we are ready and primed and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this side first. So there's a color in here called Ranch. I love this color. It's almost like a frosty white. It is the only white. Um, we're gonna go ahead and apply this underneath the brow for both eyes. Whether the eyeshadow is different or not, we need a highlight. I always like to highlight before I start to put anything else. I feel like because we're wearing red, um, we're gonna go ahead and blow out Trisha into the crease. And because it is a, a pink shadow, keep that shadow very, very tight. I really want this to be almost wearable. Taking that shadow and just bringing it underneath. And then there's a color in here called Flaming Hot. Now go ahead and pull that color out. It's almost like a red, almost like a flat red color. So taking that color and just really, really blending it into the crease. And what this does is that it really kind of mattifies all that frost, so it's not so much. Go ahead and grab another clean brush. Now this is where we're gonna go ahead and jump into the maroon color. So this is called Not A Fact, and this is where we start to kind of see the actual shape. Taking that color and just really, really blending it in. Remember you guys, I want these shadows to be really, really fun to wear. We wanna look stunning on our eyes. Now just really blending it like that. Now, let's go ahead and dive into that black. This black is called My Rides Here. You guys know I love black. Ever so lightly on the bottom of the eye. It's almost like that nice cat pulled out. There's a little bit of a wing liner there. Now we have that on. Let's go ahead and get a little creative. This is where we're gonna pack on this color called My Pills. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull a base. That's gonna pick that color up very well. Really making sure that crease is cut. Are you guys still with me? Are you guys still good? Now we're gonna go ahead and pack on this color called My Pills. Pills. I actually have the stays in it. I actually liked it without it. Well, oh, it's on there now. It's on there now. All right, guys, so that didn't go as planned. Let's go ahead and tap on some of that not a fact color and just keep this eye maroon. And I'm just really packing it. Okay. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. So now this is going to be the fun part. And now let's go ahead and just really brighten up that inner corner. This is the color that makes the palette, you guys. Taking that and let's blow it up in the inner corner. And I want you guys to make sure that color is super pressed right there. Now let's go ahead and take a line if I can find it. There is the one eye. What do you guys think? Oh wow, I love it. I feel like that color food videos just literally did it for me. It just gave me like that whole like, oh, right to the point. Okay, I'm super excited because I, I like where it's going. So let's go ahead and start the other eye. I think we're gonna bring in the browns. I might do a little something fun with the food videos. Um, so let's go ahead and get that nice, just a theory color. And now let's go ahead and just blend. 
I'm just taking that shimmer, I'm just really putting it all over the eye. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and take Diet Root Beer. It's almost like this nice pretty brown. And let's go ahead and buff that into the crease. It's very, very light. Wow, okay. I want a lot of that brown on here. Okay, so now, fuck, I thought it was gonna be like darker. So now I'm taking the color Spiraling. Okay, it's kind of boring compared to this eye. Now I'm taking my rides here. Okay, so now there's something. And just really blending that. I kind of like it. I'm not like totally against it yet. So it's not the end of the world. Hold on. So I'm now taking the black and I'm just really pressing it in. Now taking my crease cutter. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay. I know I look a little crazy. Taking a powder. So by now this eye looks like one of your like very, very easy natural eye that you guys can do. I call it traditional Instagram eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the black and just really press it right there on top. Now go ahead and take that color ranch and let's just start to kind of highlight the inner corner of the eye. This is gonna really, really pop it. I wish it was more black. Taking a liner, let's go ahead and put wing liner. I want my eyes to be super, super black on the edges, so I'm gonna take some more black. I'm just gonna really make sure it is pressed and super black. Go ahead and take the Jeffree Star, this is no offense. And let's just go ahead and prime underneath the eye, almost like a liner, okay? Now taking a blank, blank brush and just buff it out just a little bit. Now taking that same brush you guys used for the food vibes on the right eye, go ahead and take and apply it on the other. Take some black and let's just blend it on the edges. So it kind of just makes more sense. Actually, that's really pretty. At first, I was kind of like, oh, and just line the waterline a little bit. I honestly really like this side better. I'm just not really feeling this just a fairy color. I think it looked really pretty as like a lid color, but I think once I put it on my crease, that's when it was like, oh girl. And if you guys know me very well, you guys are probably like, yeah, girl. Actually, I don't mind it. I just can tell. I don't know. I think it has to grow on me. Not bad. I love this eye. So I'm not really like too crazy well. Okay. Eyes are pretty much good for now. I don't know about this eye. I like this eye. This, I don't know. You know what it is? It just looks very black and silver. And I, I hate black and silver eyeshadow. Blech. 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 If anybody ever does my makeup and does black and silver eyeshadow, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna be like, you're fired. From makeup. For life. I don't hate this side. I just feel like it needed more brown. The Diet Rupert color is nice. I just think because on my skin tone, it just didn't come out because, I mean, that's probably like my foundation color. I don't think any of them go with the red. We'll see. We're gonna pick one, okay? Just act like I'm late for a Christmas party. Let's get some foundation on. Let's just see the whole thing. It could be different once the lashes are on. You guys know, once you guys put the lashes on, it the whole thing just changes. Uh, I'm just gonna get some foundation on. Okay. Now taking the beauty blender and just really pressing it on. Mm -hmm. Who knows? It could change on the wigs on. Um, but I'm actually really drawing towards this side than this side. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know you guys very well and I feel like you guys are gonna pick this side. But you know what? You never know. When that lash is on, it changes everything. So that's pressed in. So taking your favorite concealer and start to kind of do your highlight moments. Mine is drying out on the fall. That's trash. Actually, you know what? I don't mind this side anymore. I actually like this side again. Okay. So you guys, once the makeup on, it starts to look more like, wow. This side is probably still my favorite. And then when we're done, you guys know we go right back into it and we start to add more. But I think it's kind of cool to dye two different eyeshadows because you never know what goes with what. It's almost like you're stepping out of the box in your comfort zone and just really doing different things. I love this side. I feel like this is gonna go more with the red. Now let's go ahead and set it. Set that makeup, girl. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back and edit this just a little bit. I'm basically doing everything that I've done before, pulling your highlight powder out, making sure you are highlighted. In a future video, I am gonna go in depth when it comes to like highlight and contouring again. Um, I'm actually gonna do a highlight, different ways to highlight and different ways to contour in an upcoming video. So please, please stay tuned for that. Now go ahead and pulling out your contour. Let's go ahead and contour that face. Oh wow, that's on the floor. I'm just really, really bronzing the face, making sure it's super, super even. And then now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and contour a little bit more. So pulling out your darker contour color and just really hitting that cheek, just like that. 
I didn't really do too much to my nose, you guys, because I feel like everything is so heavy. Like we have a bold lip, we have a bold eye, so I like to kind of take it down on the skin a little bit so it's not so much. Highlighted, contoured, my skin looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and bake. And then after we bake, we're gonna go ahead and go back into the eyes. If you guys need to know how to do a pinching nose, this is exactly how I do it. I'm taking the baking powder and just, not the baking powder, not the baking powder, taking that setting powder and just going like that. Okay, so let's take a step back. Let's just add the final, final, final touch to the eyes and make sure the eye is ready for the red lip. Let's just really, really edit. I'm gonna take some more of that Trisha color and just blow it out underneath. My brushes are so dirty. And then I actually wanna take the food vibe and just go like that. I actually have an idea that I hopefully, hopefully would work. I just really think like, God, these brushes are filthy because I want the yellow to pop. I think I'm gonna add some brown underneath it. I feel like it's not popping, you know? Oh, that's so much better. So I'm taking that diet root beer. And what I usually call doing this is contouring a shadow. See how that just kind of pops it more? Um, I call it contouring shadow because sometimes the shadow is so bright that it can disappear a little bit when you're wearing it. And sometimes just really outlining it with a little bit of brown, it does kind of pop the color out more. That looks so much better. I'm actually liking this side more. Look at that. I feel like it's better than this side now. See you guys! We changed it, we edited it just a tad bit to make sure it is like perfect. And for some reason, I just like this side better. <laughs> It's all about acknowledging your mistake. I feel like that worked in my mind, but when you put it on, it's just completely fucking different. I am so happy I did that. Hi, conspiracy palette, giving me everything that I need. Wow, that just made it like perfect. We did it. Okay, but you guys, I need to wash these fucking brushes. When your eye brushes look exactly like your face brushes, there's a problem. Let's go ahead and highlight a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and jump a little bit in the Laura Mercier, and then I'm gonna pull something new. Now, lately, I've been just been really addicted to the Laura Mercier highlight because it is a matte highlight, which I do like because when you go like super bright with nothing underneath that's shimmery, it does get a little like weird and chunky. So I like to kind of just use it as like a highlight base. I've been a fan of Mayron for the longest since I've been doing drag. What stood out to me the most was the Mayron. This is the Echo. This is Press Glitter Palette. I swatched this when I got it because I was like, what the fuck is Echo? And I was actually very, very stunned. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, it does come with three different colors. Um, inside there is the Reflect, the Wave, and the Sound. It's like nicely set, these pressed pigments. Um, I'm gonna dive into this color here. Now, this color is called Sound or it's called Reflect. If I'm looking at it, yeah, it's called Sound. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch one. This is literally sound. I'm gonna wet my finger and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that sound and I'm just gonna tap it on. Look at that. That is sound, you guys. Oh my god, it's so stunning. So there's sound. All right, guys, setting my makeup today is the new Morphe Continuous Spray. I love it, I love it, I love it. So just lightly spray. Okay, you guys, it is time for the red lip. If I was just a regular day, regular schmegular day with this eye makeup, I would go nude. That's just me. Now this, I would probably go like a light soft pink. That's just me. But today it's all about creating a different eye with the red lip and seeing which one we like. Honestly, when I put it on, I might not like any of them. Grab your red lipstick. We're going down right now. And if you guys don't like any, please let me know in the comments. I love to know what you guys think. I probably think the same way. I think this is the best one. Ooh, let's do this one. Let's try it on. Candy red. All right, you guys, so inside we have a liner and we have your lipstick and we have the gloss. I'm gonna do all three. First, I'm gonna put the lipstick on and then I go in and line. Oh, I, don't know. I think once we start to line it, we'll figure it out. The lipstick feels very moisturizing. It's not so like drying. It does feel moist. It does kind of feel like creamy. I do like it. Now let's go ahead and take that liner and now let's line the lips because y'all know I love liner. And then let's just see. As an eye teeth. Wow. That's a pretty shade. Like that's actually a really, really pretty shade. <laughs> okay, so after I line it, let's go back with the lipstick again and just apply some more. I actually, I like both sides, which is strange. Wow, okay. The lipstick is so pretty. Like I would wear this, like out in public. Taking the gloss, I love this gloss because it has like little gold and pink shimmers in it. You know what? I gotta admit something after I put this gloss on. As I was doing it, I was just thinking like, I've been wearing so much liquid lipstick that I forget the texture of a lipstick. Like I grew up wearing lipsticks and the way the lipsticks feel, they feel so comfortable. And I actually miss lipstick. <gasps> what do you guys think? Okay, 
What do you guys think? I'm just like, you know, hey girl. And I'm not mad about it. The black, the liner kind of just brings out the lip more. It kind of pops it. I like it. I'm not against it. Um, am I going crazy about it? Not really. But I think it does look better since I contoured the eye a little bit. This, this is stunning. If I had to pick one, I'll probably draw to this side. I do love this side though. But I think this is more like in your face. It's more like boom. You know what I mean? So we're going to call this the cherry side. She's cute. This is more like bitch. Let's go ahead and see the final thought with the wig on. I'll be right back. Hi. Okay, you guys. Now, <laughs> shout out to my hair. Let's take it back. All right, you guys. So if you guys have to pick one, which side do you guys like? You guys this side or you guys like this side? I honestly, okay, if I had to pick one, I would definitely pick this side. I think this side's pretty dope, but I'm not really against this side. But I think what really makes it fun is that really, really pretty liner on the bottom. We look crazy. I think, you know what, 2020, we're going to wear two different eyeshadows. I think that's just going to be the look. I can go out like this. I would definitely go out like this. You guys, I had so much fun diving into the conspiracy palette again with you guys. And also, shout out to Morphe for having these amazing, amazing out and about lip kits. I want to see you guys every single week, so hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys have not checked out the community tab, I love, love, love. That is the way for you guys to communicate with me. I love you, and I will see you guys in a few.